Hello everyone and welcome to another Eternal Cylinder video. This time exploring the secrets of the Great Gar. And remember to leave a like and subscribe for more Eternal Cylinder content if you enjoy the video. So while I was exploring the desert, I came across the weirdest bug which you see right now. It's a bunch of Great Gars and it looks like they spawn on top of each other, but they don't have any movements, like they're not alive, except for one great gar that is alive and patrolling around the area. But somehow, these ones just got glitched into each other and just are stationary. So I figured, hmm, if these are not moving, is it possible to climb them and get to the top of the great gar? Let's find out. Alright, here we are closer to the great gars, and look at this. Their feet are inside each other. These look all polygon sharp edges. What the frick? Whoa. So, whew, inflatable body OP. We go into the toes. Who it looks so weird. So look at this. I just use my inflatable body to go up the sides. Who knew inflatable body could be so good at exploration? But the big question is, can we get to the top of the Great Gar? I'm gonna do my best here. Whoa, no collision in the ankle, or whatever you want to call this. Alright, I fell down a few times, so I just cut out all the falling, and here we are back at this point, slowly climbing our way up this gigantic beast. Now... I got so lucky here getting on this great gar. Look, look at all these legs. It's, not all of it has collision, so it's super weird. And then this collision's super high. But what do you guys think of this bug? Like, all these great gars just fused together? <laughs> Inflatable body plus sleeping legs is the ultimate way. Oh. There's the eye! Ooh, it looks so weird. Look at that eye! Oh, Zushgark's around. Where are you? Yeah, and that eye. Alright, let me just get on the Great Gar's back. I'll be safe here, I hope. Ooh. <gasps> oh, there's the Zushgark. Imagine that being even higher than the Zushgarg flies. Don't have to worry about that thing anymore. Alright. We're on the neck part here, so we're making great progress. Or actually, is this like the nose, I think, actually? Because it's not the neck. I wonder if I can jump on the weird cords over here. Nope, no collision. Can I go over here? I'm kind of scared. I don't want to go too far because I don't want to fall off. Uh, well, look, the sight, you can see the land before you. Such a good view. Alright, let me continue up here. Uh, let me up! Don't want to fall. This is so weird. <laughs> it's Garception, if you would. Alright. Oh! I got the perfect inflatable push here. Who needs geysers when you have great gars that you can just float up on? Alright. Oh, you got the purple sack? <gasps> oh, and this is what the great car hides in the purple sack. Well, it looks like a bunch of toxic mist, but I'm not taking any damage, so I'm guessing in the full game, this mist will kill you. For sure. Um, none of my Trevum guys have followed me up here, unfortunately. So... We can't uh, switch around with them, but... One of them does have Filter Trunk, and since I do not have Filter Trunk auto-applied, that means the gas here is purely visual at the moment. But like I said before, definitely not the case. But look at this view, guys! Can I go on the head now? Or not the head, but, you know, the nose thing. 
Ooh, the great guard's coming in. Let's see, can I get on top of you? I would love to ride a great gar that's just walking around. Oh, that great gar is dropping all the bombs, though. Huh, I wonder if his sack looks different, then. Ooh. And those freaking parasites or whatever, they, with their creepy eyes. Alright. Hello, eyes. So, the membrane here looks definitely more liquidy, which is pretty cool. Let me come with you! No! Take me with you. Help me escape this prison. You know, if I knew the purple bomb was gonna trap me in here, I would not have gotten in here. But you can see the top noses of the other great guards in here, too. Can I get out, please? What? Here's the daytime view, and look! I'm completely stuck within this great guard's giant purple ball here. Like, cannot even roll myself out at this point. So... Rip, I guess I'm just gonna sit here forever. But man... The Great Gar has such an amazing view, like, look, you can see the entire landscape for miles before you. Like, whoa. This is definitely a breathtaking view. But, let me know what you guys think of this Great Gar and my exploration of it, because this definitely was quite the experience seeing a bunch of glitched out great gars. And look, look at that, it's a nose, not a- not eyes. We already saw its creeping looking eye on the chest. Anyways, I guess I'll just stay here until I dehydrate to death, but I wish you guys better luck in your own games than this. Thank you very much everybody for watching, and make sure to comment below on what kind of content you would like to see next, whether it's more Eternal Cylinder or something new. As always, good luck out rolling the cylinder, and see ya next time.